What's up, YouTube? Cut for Man T2 on here. One bats are a part of a. I almost said Comedy of Fear. So, Hearts Iron 4 campaign. We are battling. Poland is a fortress stealing my territory. I made a massive mistake by denying military access or withdrawing my own, and it gave Poland all the territory I'd conquered. But. That is okay. There's even Japanese forces over here. It's kind of funny. Anyway, I'm going for a massive cutoff here, trying to cut off multiple Soviet divisions so they will be trapped. They currently have a ton of supplies, but Riga is their port, so let's do this. Not feeling only 18 days, though. Look how rapidly that's going down. 14 days now? 20 divisions against 8 in the forest. See, the thing is, we don't want these guys. Where are those troops? I know I was training some more troops. I do actually want them trained, unlike what the Russians might believe. It's like we're hurting for our own supplies in this one province here. Come on, guys. Breakthrough. I really need to fix the battles in this game too. It should really be like 16 divisions, not just a four on whatever, you know. And adding tanks to the battle makes it so we lose even more. Come on guys, three days now for one division with heavy organization compared to our organization. Wow, they have double the organization I do. That's crazy. And now I tell myself it will all be worth it if the Soviets do not reinforce this. Come on. Okay. Brilliant. We've now cut off these forces. So what we really need is we need Riga. to be a port for us. Yeah, we're not gonna... Oh, what are the... Wow, look at all the Soviet bombers falling over here. I'm using interwar fighters. Wow. Like, we have totally... We can't even make enough planes. Okay, keep making synthetics because this gives us rubber we need for airplanes also. Let's look at this now. We have a surplus, so thank you for the factories, amigo. Okay, there's a lot of Soviet forces. What are you guys doing? Don't reshift along the line here. Okay, I'm gonna send my tanks and we're gonna cut them off. These guys can stay here though. Guys, did you just give them a port to get out of here? Son of a gun, they did. Do not let them get out of here, guys. I like how my men are just like, you know what? We don't need it. Just give them the port to get all their divisions out of here that I've been trying to kill after. Where are all my tank divisions? I thought I had a bunch. Come on, men. Ah, oh, yeah, here they are. We are not going to let them get out of here. We're going to keep them under attack so they cannot flee. Now look, they have a bunch of supplies. That is so unfortunate, you know. Can't do anything here, it doesn't matter. I don't have really any airplanes in reserve. I do have some free military factories, so... I'm be spitting out fighters like left and right here. 
I have to control the air game here. Well, I just jumped our, our knee through the roof here. Let's go from England, because England uh, will be a little better. Okay, they're just fleeing with their forces at 89%. They are cut off, but we should at least kill a number of these guys here. Speaking of, where the heck's my navy? I'm going to switch them over to convoy raiding. Because there's going to be a lot of... Yeah, there's like 21 divisions here. There's a lot of Soviets. Convoys here I want to sink. If we can, that's possible. Now, because we've... I'm going to tell these guys to go here. I want all your units to be along this line here. I think my tanks can deal with that because we need to push back because the Soviets... How the numbers currently on us? I need to train some more divisions here. I also need to look at what my division is like. What organization do we have here? 54. That's not too bad. Engineering, two plus, loose modernization there. Recon, so that gives extra health. Soft attack, barely, hard attack, barely. Breakthrough goes up, defense goes up by a lot. Recon. I think that's worth it. Let's get some recon divisions here. Oh, you know, we should also probably have some artillery. Yeah, let's make our soft attack ridiculous. Now let's see, will that make our artillery demand massive? Yes, yes it did. Okay guys, are you ready to do this? Get all your units all on the front line here. We do not, we are not fighting for Poland. This is my territory we're going after guys, keep that in mind. Station our troops. We're not fighting in this area. Romania is pushing towards Stalingrad, which is excellent. I'm going to switch her. We have the working on that decryption. I need to get advanced artillery here. And go, my soldiers. So we're lacking some more rubber. Just one's not going to be a big deal. We'll, uh, we have plenty of factories right now that are building up synthetics. Looks like we kicked them out of Riga. See, we're keeping our troops along this small front here. I wonder how the peace treaty works. I remember last time we were fighting, we, we got kind of screwed by the peace treaty. These are all Estonian lands. Wow, look, is this Finland? Are they at war with the Russians? Did they? Characters are wrong, but I don't believe that Finland starts with these. These are Soviet claims here. If I remember with Finland, you start like right along here. Huh, that's crazy. We are sinking Soviet convoys left and right. Take that, Russia. I think the Russians actually lost um, the Winter War. Okay, this is now done. Supply night attack might be good to keep going down that route, but... Should probably... Let's do the anti-tank guns first, then we'll upgrade. We'll keep upgrading our weapons. I got my tanks just gonna go through. I really just need the motorized. So forces have low organization. They're trying to shift along the front line here. They are, you know, they are dealing with. How come this is Polish land here? We don't we don't like this. How come Poland's getting this land? Is this oh is it because their land? Yeah.
This guy's gonna be going pretty slow. Let's look at their speed. Organization's good. Wow, they're really slow because of air. The enemy has air superiority. Like I said, we're gonna change that. Whatever fighters we got. Oh, you don't have range. That's a problem. I don't like that Poland's getting this territory. Even though it's apparently their own. Right, look at Czechoslovakia. Like, Poland does not have a lot of territory, so I'm now getting, giving their... See, if you walk over, it should be, it should be just like in uh, EU4, where it's control. Okay, we're going along the ports here. Okay, we don't need 20 divisions just along here, guys. Looks like we have some Yugoslavian divisions also here. Okay, so we'll get that. My men will stop. Uh... What's that? This is Polish city. So, Minsk, I know, is Russia. This is Russian. So there's Russian territory. Let's see if the Poles get that. So I want this territory. Or Russia can defend their territory. That works too. Look at that. 20 divisions the AI has told me to set up along there where there's no enemies. They're going to drive all the way to Leningrad. Okay, good. Let's uh, edit our battle plan. It looks like Russia controls even own Russia. The Poles control even own Russian territory here. So once again, we are going to shift northward out of Polish territory because I'm not going to fight, lose my brave French soldiers for for Polish territorial gains. So I'm gonna wait for all my troops to get up from here. Poland, you can defend that if you want. It's not my my problem. So it looks like it's their submarines against our submarines. Yeah, they're not like. Let's take a look at the uh, couches here in a second. Let's just um, keep working on the infantry though. Weapons three. I should uh, kick out any Russian forces. Oh, this is going to mess us up, I bet, because now it's going to want us to, yeah, go like that. So I said I'd look at the Russian casualties here. 1.4 million men lost. I've lost 400,000. Poland, I'm sure. Poland's not technically in this war. So... Leningrad is ours. Take their strategic base. Then I can transfer all my planes to. Yeah, the good news is I'm making so many fighters now daily. Let's take a look at it. I'm 13 daily, so that's a lot because we have all these production lines set up. So we're just reinforcing what we have, and yeah, we yeah we're making tons, even one a day. So we're making basically like five a day, which is awesome. And once these guys get here, I'm gonna tell my my guys, fighter of the Baltic states here, I want to shoot down these Soviet uh, bombers that are hitting my troops. Give them some kind of opposition, you know. Okay, let's try to uh, Novgorod. Oh, that's a that's a good uh, thing we remember from E4. Yeah, 
I like a pole, like, just it's blocking me here. Romania and the Greeks are doing a lot of damage to the Soviets. So working more on these and in infrastructure, repairing some buildings. I don't get why I'm exporting. When I when I need, I'm import. Like it doesn't make any sense to me why you. Now I know you can change your economical, your your laws here. Let's see, so limited. So I could switch this around, and what does that give me? So this one gives me 10% factory output. Research time. This one hurts my research time, but it gives you more of my resources. And this one is just 80% of your resources can go to market. Gotta be careful not to get my own tanks cut off here. I do want to keep one of these guys back. I love to cut off these forces up here. That's what you have to do. I mean, the Soviets' army, like, my army is 90 divisions here against, you know, there's several hundred Soviet divisions. So we cut off, and we attack, and we cut off right there. Beautiful. It's four divisions. Not too many, but some wiped out. To work on nuclear. I'm gonna keep doing the uh, oil refineries. Put them where they won't be bombed by the Soviets anyway. Like, they don't have any range to get over here. Yep. So I don't care if these guys are repairing. It's actually good to have the infrastructure repair that with our own supply lines. So it looks like we now have complete control over the skies here. So their fight, their bombers should be uh, shot down. I don't know how their ships here. Speaking of, I also have some new French divisions. I think, right? Almost. Still training. February forty-four. So it'll be done soon. That's good. So our fighter production now has been, you know, 13 a day. It's now cut in half the fighters we need, which is good. I need a lot more artillery than I'm making currently. So that'd be good to upgrade this guy. I know I'm not messing with my navy. I just don't. I don't need my navy for this. We're not fighting the Pacific. So, yeah, that's my reasoning. I, I just, I don't need a navy right now. We're taking on the Soviets. Probably going to win the campaign here. I don't need to mess with the Japanese. I've done that so many times. I'm just taking out the players in Europe. You know, in you know France. Well, I'm France. I look, I look how France is like positioned like this. Taking out Italy, Spain, and Nazi Germany, and then getting rid of the Soviets so they can't mess with Eastern Europe. Like I think that's a pretty good. Uh, Pretty good campaign. So we've got our division here. I'm gonna slow them down, like speed wise. Engineer, armor minus two, manpower. That's gonna be more attacks, that's kinda interesting. I want you guys to be aggressive right now. We have the advantage, men. Let's push. My tanks are pushing. Let me just double check. Is there any kind of... There's no fighters whatsoever in the area here. This is a lot of... Uh, a lot of Soviet fighters. Yeah, and the Soviet Union is not even messing with anyone either. Oh, look at that. They're going toward... They're getting close to Stalingrad. I've already taken Leningrad, so... Yeah, so it's halfway to surrender here. I'm sure if we get Leningrad and... Well, if we get Stalingrad and Moscow, we should be, uh... 
Should be looking pretty good. Okay, that's fun too. Look, no organization right there. And we do have superior attacks to the Soviets because we have the, uh, the intercept. So they. Oh, this guy. Charismatic, fast planner, defensive dodge, and logistics wizard. This guy's good. And Zukrov. So the Soviet rivers are not going to help them very much. You know, yeah, if you just want to start pushing, that's good too. I like how we're just not helping Poland. Like, we're, we're like, you know, if we're going to take any Polish territory, that's for you. I'm not going to push through here. Yeah, and uh, Czechoslovakia is half of what they, uh... They own too. Oh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this part. We're going to continue our push into the Soviet lands in the next part. Just going to take 20 seconds and try to cut this guy off here. Or not. That works too. So, yeah, we'll hopefully beat the Soviet Union on the next part and then maybe the end of the campaign. Now, if I take out the common turn, that'd just be good enough for me. I really want all these factories and oil and everything, so. Yeah, I think it's, we've done a good job with our resources, too. Like, we have a surplus now. I can keep, you know, I've been going back and forth with the United States on how many factories I need, and I'm exporting a lot, which makes no sense, but I am. <laughs> so, as long as we keep building more factories, that, makes, that, that sounds good enough to me. So, guys, I'll see you in the next part. Hope you enjoyed.